What is melanin and why is it so important to the human family and in particular to black people as we move forward to um, liberate ourselves in the 20th century? Melanin is a chemical, a biochemical, meaning it's a living thing. Mm -hmm. And it's how we classify the races by how much melanin they make inside their body, not the melanin on your skin. It's how much you make inside your body. Mm -hmm. And we make the most melanin. Melanin is in your muscles, it's in your bones, it's in your nervous system, and your digestive system. And it's the brain cell of cells in your body. It's the brain of all the cells in your body. And it keeps them all synchronized. It's like synchronizing the watch or something. It keeps everything coordinated, the kidneys, the lungs, the liver, everything has a cycle. And melanin keeps those cycles in order. The more melanin you have, the more intelligent you are. The more melanin you have, the more psychic you are. The more melanin you have, the more human you are. That's how we classify human beings by how much melanin they have. Mm -hmm. And black people are classified the highest on the scale of human beings. We are number six and the Europeans are number one. They have the least amount. Mm -hmm. We have the most amount. So that makes us more in tune with nature, in tune with God, if you were. Mm -hmm. And it's very important. So the, the way a drug works is by destroying melanin, speeding it up or slowing it down. A drug that does not work on melanin is not a drug at all. That's the way drugs are made. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, um, because of the melanin, that makes black people rather unique. We're more creative. We're more scientific. We're more human. And uh, drugs destroy it, basically. Yeah, be the drug crack cocaine or the oil drugs called nicotine or cannabinol marijuana. Those are drugs. We just don't know what drugs are because we've been miseducated. As Carter G. Woodson said it, we are totally miseducated in science, biology, chemistry, social science, history, we are miseducated, and that's very unfortunate. So we don't really know that much about ourselves or the world. So to study melanin is to study yourself and the world, and how it works defines everything.